Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alucard Night Raven. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my next review. And again, another exciting one, another Titan. I'm looking at the Earthrise War for Cybertron trilogy Earthrise Scorponok. And he is a big fella. Uh, so we're looking at the box first. Um, forgive the background noise, that is my AC. Pretty warm day today. But let's take a look at this box. And this is a rather large box just like with Omega Supreme but all kinds of great detailing here as you can see wonderful image there Scorponok got him uh, we've got double dealer right up there got him holding Optimus Prime got a blast here coming from the edge we'll take a look at where that's coming from and see more details of him some more bots there in the background and looks like the arc right there so that is the front of course we got transformers all along the side we got Kartomi generations Hasbro 8 plus yeah all that good stuff now on this side I think we can figure out who's firing that blast now. Looks like Megatron to me, but yeah, nice detail work on this side of the box. Again, very cool. Really loving that. Of course, we can see Titan class. So yeah. And then on this side, of course, we have that Earthrise artwork. And again, very beautiful really love that let me get it more in center frame here looks so good i can't say it enough i really want poster size of all three artworks please hasbro or somebody give us poster size of all three artworks yeah it looks really good so on the bottom some more details well, not really details, but image there. Got our warning there. On the top, Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy, Decepticon symbol. Yeah. And then on the back, we have all of our product shots for Scorponok. We've got the small headmaster, the midsize headmaster, and the full size Scorponok. Um, we've got the base mode. We've got the Scorpion mode. Again, very cool. Really loving that. Just, oh, that is really digging this, this whole, whole thing. Just, oh, they, with these, I mean, I love this Scorponok. It is so nice. He and he scales very well with the um, Titans Return Fortress Maximus. Because um, I know there's upgrade kits for him. I do have two of the DNA design upgrade kits, and I will get to those in a later um, video, later review. But there's they're doing another upgrade kit that brings his height up. I don't think that works personally. I don't think that works at all. And I'll tell you why. Scorponok is somewhat shorter than Fortress Maximus in robot mode. It's always been the case in the shows, in the cartoons, whether you're looking at that three episode um, of season, so-called season four, or you're looking at Headmasters. Scorponok, in his full height, was a little bit shorter than Fortress Maximus. So, in my personal opinion, and this is just my opinion, how I feel about it, bringing his height up ruins the scale. It doesn't scale well with Fortress Maximus after that. So, but the other upgrade kits, excellent. Um, with the gun, uh, the bigger shield, like, and then the shoulder cannons having two sets and but i'll get into those a little later so let's bring in scorponok so i will be right back 
All right, and here we have Scorpnock in his base mode. I may have a few things slightly off. Um, this was the best I could get him, really. But yeah, again, very cool. Really, really loving this. And of course you can see Zarek in his little bitty mode. And very nice. Come on. So very nice head on that. Looks looks quite a bit like in the cartoon. So really liking that. Yeah. And then of course we can see the head for the mid-sized robot. So all done in this sort of beige and purple. Uh, red for this uh, visor and again looks very cool and of course you saw he could stand on the base mode and yeah base mode looks good got ramps going up the middle here there there got everything there I mean in his typical colors we got the purple the green some orange silver the sort of gunmetal gray I mean it all looks really really good so definitely definitely liking that and we can bring out one accessory and he's got the blast effects or as MGO calls them blushes and they do separate you can put them together and then anywhere you could find somewhere to kind of plug them in oh, not there apparently but yeah like right here a little well no nope, that's gonna be for a headmaster hmm how about right there there we go so then you could separate them have them going on some other spots anywhere that you can find a place to plug them yes yeah, so we got those so that looks really cool really liking that and bring him off to the side we will open this panel up and bring the head up oh. and we've got the head and uh, we'll look more at this in his uh, full robot mode but we're going to I'm going to quick transform it to his robot mode and then I will show the transformation going from the head mode or from the robot mode to the head mode so give me one second okay so we've got here the robot body and of course he needs his main head so we will fold all that up again just like with the titans return uh little titan masters everything just folds up i want to make sure that's straight and then we just plug it in and there is the full effect of him in in this robot mode and this looks straight out of the headmasters uh, cartoon uh, from Japan it looks amazing and these things you can actually store like right on whoops <laughs> like right on his back there's a tab right here that will plug in right there so there's one and there's two and of course you can have them with the horns going up one way but i prefer to do it like this but yeah looks very good really liking that um we'll take a look at his head and looks really good love that beige got the silver there uh the red for the eyes some more beige here got all the purple some more beige purple gray or gunmetal gray a little bit of red there got the orange for these horns a little bit of red gunmetal gray and purple on the back and yeah looks really good articulation can turn his head only about that far can't really look up or down due to it being the headmaster gimmick arm can only come out that far can do full 360 We've got swivel right above the elbow, or at the bicep, and we've got double jointed elbow, 
The fist can only go in due to transformation, and I'll get down to that when I do the head again. We have waist articulation. Can kick forward that far. Can only kick back that far. Let's see. Almost full Van Dam. We've got thigh swivel and little over 90 on the knee. Oh, let me take these off. They're getting ready to pop off. And the foot can pivot the ankle that far. So again, very cool. Really liking that. <clears throat> Looks good. I I dig it. <laughs> and of course, he's got these little ports here, so you can plug a blast effect on. So it's so if he got hit from here or he got hit right here or right here granted these are mainly for the um the orange horns in head mode which i i will get to i promise you i will get to <laughs> so yeah so there is that we'll set him off to the side and we will take a look more at the base so Let's bring that in a little bit more. Okay, so let's see how well I can do this. <laughs> so again, some nice blue. I like that too. That looks really good. Some right in there and right in there. Some silver here. You can see a bit of orange with this gunmetal gray. Again, looks very nice. Bring it off to the side and you can see a bit more here. yeah got some uh, little uh, jets um, possibly for um, I'm thinking while he's uh, traveling through space <laughs> cool. but again all this green looks really nice but yeah looks good so I think what we shall do is go into scorpion mode shall we Yes, let's. So we're gonna take and fold this in just like that. We're gonna fold this around. We're gonna kind of leave it like this for now. Same thing on this side. Fold this in. Bring this around. We'll just sort of leave it like this for now. Let's see. We're going to unplug this. And it is a bit of a tight fit. Well, here, let's unplug this first. Come on. So, and then we'll unplug these. Set them off to the side. Same thing on this side. <laughs> Come on. Whew. Separate and set them off to the side. Now, should be able to. Oh, there we go. We'll set that off to the side. Now, we want to be... Hmm. Okay, so bring this down. Close, close that up. I'm going to open these up for the moment. But we also want to rotate these, bring them out, rotate them again. Same thing over here. Rotate, bring it out, bring it out. We're gonna take and rotate this around just like that. And then, Untab this. <sighs> rotate all that around till we're like this. Same thing with this side. So rotate. Rotate. Bring it together. 
close this till they nice whoop, I don't think you saw that so we're gonna close these both of them nice little thoop tiny one then we're going to bring it all around and this is going to plug in just like that same thing on this side bring it all around plug in so it's uh this one right here is plugging in right there so you can see what i am doing here and i think i come on there we go so there's that and then this so we've got these clips right here that these are going to plug into so we want to sort of aim this right well we want to actually bring this okay <laughs> so we want to take this piece swing it down and then we're going to plug all this together Ugh. okay now whew, I'm going to rotate this around and that keeps coming unplugged on me <laughs> come on Stay plugged in. Don't be such a pain. There we go. Rotate this out and rotate this out. And there's our scorpion tail. Then I'll bring these up. Sort of bring them out like this. Spin her around. Same thing on this side. So there is that. Now, last little bits we need to do, take these, we're going to plug them in right there, so there's that one, and same thing on this side, there's that, whoops, other thing, we are going to take oh okay now I remember we're going to take this piece so we got the curve going up and this is going to go on this side and this is going to plug in if you can see what I am doing <laughs> I apologize about that so this this one is going to plug in there and these two are going to plug in right there so we want to line everything up oh maybe that one doesn't plug in i thought it did i guess i was wrong so there's that one and then same thing on this side and we are missing a head so let us get to that so for this mode we'll pull the smaller head out and before we transform that, we kind of bring, bring them in a sitting position like this. We're going to open this up. And there is this, let's see if I can get it where you can see. There's this little spot right there in the middle, kind of hard to see, but right there. And that's where he'll go in. Just like that. And then close it up so there's that and now the piece de resistance we are going to open this up We're going to bring these together bring push the feet together sort of uh 
swing this out like this. Now these arms want to close the fists and we want to close it all up until that small tab plugs in right there. We want to rotate this. Same thing on this side. Rotate this piece out. Now bring it down just like that. We're going to swing. Ugh, come on. Stay with me here. We're going to swing the legs up. Bring them all the way around. Keeping everything together. Gonna... Too soon. <laughs> Tab that in. We're going to bring this up. Till we've got this and we want to plug in these pieces and then we are going to plug in the head and why am I having such a hard time There we go. And there we have scorpion mode. All done. Whew. It looks good. Sorry, I had to take a drink. Oh, actually, I think I'm missing, uh, I forgot something. Yep. <laughs> forgot this piece. So this we actually take and we plug in underneath here right here just like that but there is the scorpion mode in all its glory and you can have these sort of aimed anywhere you want them you can open everything up yeah there we have scorpion mode it looks good I like it it's very good so again a whole lot of purple and green some orange a little bit of gunmetal gray looks very nice and forgive any any of my sweat it's very hot that's why I have the AC on but yeah, you can see the details here on the claws. Again, very nice. Really liking that. You can see all the details on the side here. Again, looks really good. It can roll. It does have like some nice large uh, rollers to be able to roll on. So that works very well but yeah definitely digging that definitely looks very good now for the blast effects you can plug it onto the scorpion tail just like that so he's firing at Fortress Maximus, at anybody else, and of course anywhere that you can find a spot to put a blast effect. Oh, never mind, not that one. <laughs> Let's see, like right here. So there's one, there's one right here. Oh no, wrong one. Yeah, it, anywhere you find a blast effect that'll f fit somewhere, you're good to go. <laughs> it still looks very cool got nice red eye there for the scorpion head um, granted it does look a lit a little funny I mean it, it is what it is but in order to pull off you know everything it's got to pull off I I get it you know I mean it's not horribly bad it's not supposed to look like a realistic scorpion anyways it's like just something that they think would look good <laughs> I mean, 
robots in disguise, right? <laughs> yeah. Definitely looks cool. Um, so articulation, we'll start with his little scorpion legs. So they they go up as a single, well, the as two each. And then you've got these are separate, and you also get the little feet. So you can put them into any sort of pose that you wish. Of course, the scorpion tail. Let me get it into focus here. Can uh, all right. <laughs> Move in and out here, and here, and here. Let me show you that, and here. So anywhere you can move it is good. Um, the head, get everything readjusted here. The head, if you like, you can rotate it, and you can do a little bit of up and down. So there is that. The arms go in and out. You can rotate here, here, and here. You can go in here, and also like this. So yeah, plenty of nice articulation for this mode. It's not bad at all. But I think we shall move on. And we will get him into his robot mode. So for now, I'm going to pull the head out because I think we need, uh, there we go. Weird thing is the horns on mine, like if you don't, one, they, one fits better on one side than the other. And the next thing we will pull out is Zarek. And set that off to the side. We'll pull off these pieces here. Spin it around. Pull this piece off. Well, might as well just unplug it since we're here. <laughs> oh, fits in very nicely. Come on. Whew. And then we'll pull these pieces off on either side. So there is that. And now let us start with transforming him. So first off, fold this in like this, this in here, and then this down to here. And then we will fold this back out. Whoops, we'll fold this back out. So everything folds up very nicely. Now, next bit, hmm. okay, we will, whoops, so I want to untab these, bring everything out, same thing on this side, untab it, bring it out, and then we're going to do Gonna open it up so we can rotate the foot out, close it back up, and that is going to peg in. It is actually this peg is going to peg in right here. Hold that. Same thing on this side. Rotate the foot out, close that up. Now oof, we shall stand him up. Rotate the waist. Just like that. Then we will rotate down the toes. That is pretty much the legs all done. So, next thing we're going to do we're going to fold that up. We'll actually spin this around here. 
Then we want to fold in these and we want to make sure that we have these up like this. We're going to fold in on this side and on this side. Pushing everything in there and then bring this up and this is going to these are going to peg in right in there on either side and then there's tabs right here that we're going to plug in right there and that is the back all done oh come on man <laughs> now rotate the arms down bring that down and that down rotate the arms down bring that down and that down and then whew, I'm going to plug the head on just like that because this is the way I personally prefer to store it and then we'll plug the head in just like that and then cannons on the shoulders and the final piece which is going to go on the arm right here hold on so but what we'll do is we will combine these so these go together just like that plugs in to the shield and then the shield plugs onto the arm let's see Trying to remember, I think it was, it was right like this. Yep, just like that. And there we have Scorponok, all transformed. And he looks good. He looks good. I really like that. Definitely all purple, green, silver, gunmetal gray, baby blue, orange, all over the place, man. <laughs> there we go. But let's take a look at that head. Very Scorponok looking head. Again, very nice. Really liking that. You can see he's got his shoulder cannons, just like he should. Nice big old Decepticon symbol right there. See purple and gunmetal gray on the crotch. Uh, and the uh, upper legs. Again, very nice. And then green for the lower legs. So yeah, very cool. Articulation. The head can rotate. A little bit up down. That's about it. Arms can go out that far. And do full 360. Uh, some things do get in the way though. We've got. So those don't pop off on me. So we've got rotation right there, just above the elbow, and oh, a little under 90. Oh no, 90 for the elbow. His claws can go in and out, and then these like fingertips for the claws. Can rotate, can move. He's got waist. Can kick forward. Ugh. Can kick forward that far. Whew. Back that far. Just over full Van Dam. Rotation at the thigh. And he's got double jointed for the knees. So that's very nice. And then the foot can give us that much ankle tilt. Oh man. <laughs> that is a hassle. <laughs> Let me put this back on. Whew. 
Whew. There we go. And again, the blast effects can go anywhere you find a spot on him. But that is Scorponok in all his glory. And I like it. He looks good. He is an awesome figure. One of my favorites. Definitely one of my favorites. Cannot recommend this enough. Um, you know, these really good articulation for such a large figure. Um, really, really do th uh, think that anybody that decides to get him is going to be very happy if you can find him. Now, this is last year's Titan release, so I don't know how easy it is going to going to be to find him i got mine from um big bad toy store um you could check there i think they might be getting somewhere in i cannot say for sure but it's always worth the check um you could check places like agabus maybe see if they've got anything but yeah keep an eye out online i'm sure you'll find him he is definitely worth getting i and if you can get the add-on kits the upgrade kits um, especially the two, like I said, me personally, I'm not going for the upgrade kit that makes him taller and changes his transformation way too much. But the two upgrade kits from DNA Design, which I will be doing a review at a future point, um, I recommend those. It really adds to Scorponok. So I definitely recommend him. So that is Scorponok, and he wore me out. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. I wish you the best of luck if you're hunting him down. I do hope you find him for a really good price. Well, that is it on Earthrise Scorponok. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all later.